Do you ever just like finally Google the lyrics to a song like 10 years later to only find out that you've just been singing like nonsense for the past decade? There's just uh, quite a bit to unpack here. Um, the first thing being that I'm not entirely sure about this look that I have for today's video. Like I thought it looked cute, but I'm not sure. Maybe it does. Um, you know what, maybe it's the second thing that we need to unpack that's like kind of throwing off this look is the fact that I look like an Oompa Loompa. Micah, do I look orange? No, your hair looks crazy. Oh, it does? Where should I put them? I think now's the time, or... We'll check you later. Germs are gone. I have such a great adorable haul for you guys today but first i actually want to start off with this item right here kind of like a tiktok made me buy it so this is just paper tape maybe not athletic tape um this is for securing bandages and wounds i mean it's kind of right with with the athletic things at dollar tree but i actually got this because and i don't know how effective this is but I saw this girl talk about using tape like this and putting it just kind of like all over the forehead. Um, I'm not sure if she like taped anywhere else around her face, but she used this method for wrinkles and then showed her results. So I thought, I don't know, should I try that? So that's why I got this item. Because Dollar Tree isn't always consistent with just releases or restocking really essentially is the word i'm looking for i like to sometimes pick up items that i think are so stellar even though i've hauled them before and show them back to you guys to let you know that i'm seeing a restock of them they're just so good but they have to come back and they are these little doctor kits for kids the packaging is incredibly adorable i just cannot get over the fact that these are $1.25. So we have a doctor kit in the blue. You get a stethoscope, an injector, a hammer, a tweezer, and a pair of scissors. And then in the purple kit, you get the same thing, just purple kit. And then there is a dentist kit, which is so adorable. So you get one tooth mold, one plate, one toothbrush, one tweezer, and one scissors so i think this is just absolutely adorable definitely a great pickup even if this is something that you would put in a care package it's very light so there's not going to be too much weight to it another item that came back as a restock are these little toy tubs and let me tell you i have bought them before and they are a hit my niece loved her little like tubs so adorable and what is so cute is one of the packaging i love like the little net um just to kind of like keep everything in and then you can see that we have i will go ahead and open this one up so that you can see it properly but it even has like a um i was gonna call it a sprinkler but not a sprinkler the word is escaping me but like, you know what I'm saying? And it also comes with an adorable little bar of soap that is pink and a rubber ducky. Like we're getting three adorable pieces, not to mention how cute the tub is. There's even like little faux grippers on the side, which is so adorable. Dollar Tree has also finally just released some more decorative boxes. I'm just gonna stack these on top just so you can see all the different sizes. So it's like we've got an extra large, large, medium, small. You know, so super adorable and the prints are just absolutely darling. Starting off with this one on the top, the small um, giving me Blanche Devereaux. Just, I love it. And the pink flamingos are so cute. These are just gonna be great for so many different things. Whether you wanna use it as gift giving or you're putting it into a care package to hold little gifts like, you know, bobby pins, hair clips, chapsticks like whatever or you can even use them in your craft room in your office storage the little watermelon is so cute or the tropical fruits are so adorable but yeah so many good uses out of these and you could even style them um like around the house 
in terms of decor as well. Like this one has a super cute shabby chic look. Absolutely adore it. And the insides are always beautifully lined. For me, my favorite thing to do with these, um, and here's this one with the bicycle. This one is my absolute favorite out of the entire bunch. Like the color combinations are so pretty. For me, I would prefer using these in my craft room as storing little things in them. I just think they have that super adorable look. Here I am again with some more items from Dollar Tree under the Shore Living label. So I found this yard steak. Yeah, it's a garden steak and it's super cute because it says ahoy. I love this. I love the size of it too. Now, from a yard steak perspective, I would say this is probably pretty small. Um, when it comes to kind of like landscaping decor, I do like things to be a little bit bigger because you can see it better. But I love this size because nine out of 10 times, I actually do not use these as yard stakes. I will pluck off the actual piece to it, which with this one, it looks like all I have to do is kind of like bend this back. Yeah, and it just literally comes right off. You can see how quickly that happened and look how cute that is. So you could either center of a wreath kind of concept or in a tear tray, which this is definitely what I would use this for. Staying on the shore living line, I found this new item. It's very interesting. I don't know if Dollar Tree actually intended to not make it centered where, I mean, you can just see. It is not centered at all. All of them kind of looked like this, but I do love the print. It's super cute. The hook has that nautical vibe to it. It does have the feature to add it to the back, you know, of a wall. So super cute. Love that, but it's just not centered. Something that I think might not be easily fixed because if you were to move it, you're going to see the damage, you know, but listen, there it is. Then I found these canvas wall decors and I couldn't believe it. I have been hauling so much from the Shore Living line that I've actually been collecting it upstairs in my craft room so that I can do a full collective haul so that you can see everything in one video. But you guys, these are absolutely fabulous. And I just, when I see this, I just think bathroom decor, if you want to do a beachy bathroom vibe or a guest bedroom vibe or an entryway like these little canvas pieces are just so great for so many different things so absolutely love this find and i found two new wall decor pieces love you to the beach and back and i love the mirrored effect of the mermaid it's not galvanized it's mirrored so love that and then they did the same thing with the fish two less fish in the sea. Tell me that's not adorable. These are gorgeous. And then when you again, think of them from the price perspective, $1.25, mind blowing. Since Dollar Tree did raise their prices from $1 to $1.25, I personally feel like I have seen a massive improvement under almost every single label so far. So one of them being the garden label line and I pulled a couple of little pieces like really cute yard stakes and then I found these I don't believe I've hauled them yet but they're just like little decor signs bless my garden super cute and then meet me at the garden gate love that love when Dollar Tree really gets creative and you know the little play on words like this one garden of Whedon all right, now let's get into some of my favorite items to find treasure hunt for, and that's kind of anything related to planners. So I did find some uh, dry erase planners at Dollar Tree, and they are absolutely adorable. I think I hauled something very similar not too long ago. I hope it wasn't these, but these just struck me as new. And yeah, so all you would need are the dry erase markers and the dry eraser, which Dollar Tree does sell. And this one has the month at a glance, which is really cute. So again, like you could start over every single month because they are not predated. Love these. And then all you also, you can go grab some magnets at Dollar Tree, glue them to the back, and then you can put them on either a command center or your fridge. So they work great for that. And then this one has a weekly format. So not a monthly, but weekly. 
and super cute. Love the pink with the little like dots. Next up, I found some, uh, what are they calling these? It's crown jewels and it looks like kind of like a planner. I feel like it's a combination of just a notebook and then some pages that have that planner look to them. So we're gonna go ahead and flip through them. So the first one is this beautiful one with the gold crescent moon. And then as I, I'm flipping through it, yeah. So the first page has, um, you know, planning the week, goals, your moods throughout the week, which is really cute. And then as you flip through it, it just has some designs on each page and then um, just a notebook style. And then we get into another week of planning. So super cute. Looks like maybe this is probably for one single month. And then the next one is gonna be the rainbow, which is super pretty. There are some metallic, um, colors going on in the front cover. I don't think the camera is doing it justice. And then we are getting some really cute pages. <gasps> oh my gosh. So this one looks like some type of weight loss journey too, because there's like a fit tracker, a weight tracker, measurements for your body. If you want to track something like that, a meal tracker. This one definitely has a lot more, um, uh, bullet style journaling pages, grocery store list. Yeah, this actually reminds me of a bullet journal. Um, this one is so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. I cannot believe that Crown Jewels just did that. All right, let's look at the next one. The next one is self-guided journal. I'm loving the sun and moon concept here. It definitely kind of like reminds me of my daughter. It has the same exact set up as the first one that we saw. So this just a dupe. Looks like again, a little month, little month journal. And then this one with the oranges, or are these peaches? Yeah, these are peaches. This one's my favorite journal design out of all of them, super cute. And then it looks like it has very similar to the one we looked at before, except what I'm noticing straight out the bat is that the font is different so um i love that i love that they did a little change up i'm not sure why the other one was identical to each other i kind of wish that all four would have been just like unique then i stumbled upon this little jackpot of notebooks and things also by the crown jewels line and it just has a doggy theme now i didn't see anything cat related usually if you see something dog there's like a cat version i did not see that it looks like crown jewels has only released this little dog set born to be awesome super cute um, and then i have this journal cover <laughs> Oh, I love that there's even like the print on the pages. I love when they do like little extras like that. So we've got that one. And then here is this little journal. Oh, yo, that is so cute. What a little princess, super cute. I don't know, are there any more? Yeah, and then another journal. I love that they have like beats on their, their ears, but it's like made out of donuts. I don't know, super cute. I don't, is there, it says good vibes. That's what the inside looks like. So here's what all four of the journals look like. And then aside from these, they also made a bunch of like these little list pads. I think that's what these are called. And there is a lot of these options. So quite a few, so I'll go ahead and just kind of flip through them for you oh my goodness that's just absolutely adorable and like i always say if you love it go grab it because you will not see these again dollar tree does not do a restock of crown jewels that's just unfortunately not how it works i'm gonna just flip through one so you can see yeah it's just plain Nothing fancy to the inside of those. And saving the best for last, when I saw these, I was just like, 
I never grabbed anything so fast in my damn life at Dollar Tree. These are cosmetic bags, but they say beach and they have this beautiful summer neon pop. That's probably my favorite thing about summer is neon colors. I don't know what it is. I absolutely love them. I found this one in bright neon orange. But yeah, these are just little cosmetic bags. So cute. All of them say the same thing, which I'm fine with that. I feel like sometimes they choose words that I'm not a fan of, like vibes. You know what I mean? Or boss girl or girl boss or boss lady or like, I mean, nothing wrong with those, but like sometimes I feel like, you know, it, it's just not my personal preference. So I'm okay with the fact that they all do say beach and then you get to be, I wish there was a yellow. I kind of wonder if there was. All right, guys, that's it for today's haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I will be back Saturday for an amazing Amazon haul. Like it's my favorite to date. So make sure you come back, hang out. I'll show you guys what I found on Amazon. And so hopefully I'll see you there. Bye.